Welcome comrade, welcome to experience of object 279, it's completely balanced and totally not biased. Hello, hello there and welcome back to War Thunder 2, a double feature in the object 279 and I have way too much fun playing this thing, it's hilarious, I love it and I can't get enough. And I'm very, very close to finishing the grind for the ace qualification. And I also want to use this thing for grinding. Heavy machine gun, despite very, being very good, doesn't give me immediately the Russian bias feeling. So I give the Jagdpanzer Kurasir the good old heavy cruiser firepower from the strongest APHE PC round that can be found on any tank. And it hits like a heavy cruiser. <laughs> Oh man, the kill cam from his perspective must be delicious. You think that I'm exaggerating, right? That I am just making up stuff, that this thing hits like a heavy cruiser. Well, let's let's have a look at it, right? Object 279, 130 millimeter gun. The PR 482B shell has a thousand meters per second mass velocity just like the long 88 and features 363 millimeters of penetration at point blank range and at a kilometer it is still 322 millimeters and it has 177 grams of tnt just for good measure that is actually not that much but more than enough for any crew compartment Let's go back to the 363 millimeters of penetration. Let's compare this to some selected heavy cruisers. What about the RN Sara, the Italian premium cruiser with its 203 millimeter APHE PC round? It has a 900 meters per second mass velocity and feels 370 millimeters of penetration at a kilometer. So, not that much more and has 3.16 kilograms of TNT. The Japanese 203 millimeter AP type 91 has 835 meters per second and it can pen 365. The USS New Orleans with its 8 inch mark 19 AP CBC round with 853 meters per second mass velocity can pen 373 millimeters of steel at a kilometer so when i say that this thing hits like a heavy cruiser it's not you know that much off and a result like this four caps five kills a win easy game easy life that is object 279 the combination of this absolute one-shot monster of a shell with a stabilizer and hold your horses eight point seconds reload for this massive shell is just phenomenal. Then there is also the speed. The um, horsepower to ton ratio is roughly 16. It's not too bad, right? And let's just give it a bit of a free run. It can go up to the top speed of 55 kilometers per hour. The steering is a bit heavy. As you know, this is one of the last heavy tanks in the game. And you have the object 279. It's just so cool and then there is the armor of course which is troll as all hell don't rely on this a central shot with a ATGM or AP FSDS will doom and seal your fate but a rush shot that normally would easily cripple or damage this tank <laughs> this thing doesn't doesn't really care oh this guy got killed by a leopard 2k where is he oh hello <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't take prisoners. It's not fair. And this is just what I had the entire day. Talking about fun. This is just so stupid. It should be illegal. I'm not exaggerating. This thing is just the poor, the, the pure quintessence of Russian bias. <laughs> okay, that was a bit of a, of a bad hit. Yeah. This would be dangerous for most tanks. Uh, that was actually the perfect demonstration that the Begleitpanzer is overpowered. <laughs> but 
Anyway, I, I think he bailed out out of frustration or he just burned down quickly. Doesn't really matter. We are again in the cap. And I think that grinding with this machine is just such a such a relaxing experience. You have fun. You have Russian bias. You have all the caps in the world. You get all the kills. It's satisfying. You don't really care that your shot doesn't hit the ammo 100% central as it is very often required with other shell types. You don't give a damn about Euro and <laughs> this thing, as you could also see from the start sequence, the start scene of this video, it's just, <laughs> it, it's, it's hilarious and I could talk about it all day long, but let's concentrate uh, on this battle for a moment. I took the cap, killed some stuff, and now I'm thinking to myself, well, where to go next, right? And I have the feeling that somewhere there must be an enemy. Now, there's also a second object 279, so we have all the advantages and hello there. <laughs> Oh man, this gun, it, sh it just slaps somebody really hard in the face. It, it kills so hard that he respawns with twice the repair cost <laughs> and takes damage, damage in the next game. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic, it's fantastic. Now, again, I want to share this video with you and the experience because usually I try to go as low as possible with you know the grind that I have to do and the lower you get in battle rating the better the map rotation the less night matches you get obviously and overall the better the experience low tier is fun tier and late 2021 low tier is 8.7 <laughs> because this thing is just absolutely fantastic and yeah, if you think about it, 8.7, this is the battle rating of some really, really mean machines. And you could expect to get lapped every single day of the week. But again, it's, I don't know what it is about this machine, but it just doesn't care. I mean, yeah, a night battle, that's, that's really bad. Um, you don't have thermals. You have NVD, but that's roughly it. Oh, we just missed him. Okay. Oh, can we can we hit the gun barrel? Nope. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> and we machine guns him. <laughs> this tank is the Hey, dude. Did you not see me? Okay. Does your readout? Or hit did we hit the crew? Oh, we get a kill assist. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Again, fantastic showcase. And four tracks when you get set on fire, but it's at the bottom of the tank. You don't need the fire extinguishers. A lot of people get trolled by the armor. A lot of people get trolled by the sheer width of this tank. It's, um, it's fantastic. I can't get enough of this. And I put also a talisman on it. So for me, this is probably the best and most fun Russian grinding machine I can imagine. And getting 10, 12,000 RP per game is not a rarity. With this thing, it's standard. It's kind of average. However, I played so many battles that I kind of got the feeling that Gaijin is RP capping tank RP again. It's easy to get a certain amount of RP, let's say five, six, seven thousand, right? If you have, like me, in this case, to set the standard a premium account, you win the match and you have the talisman on this machine. No boosters applied though. And then you really hit it, find it really difficult to get over 12, 13,000, regardless of how many kills you get. And I think it's kind of tied to battle time. But first of all, hello. <laughs> oh man, this is, it, it, it's, it's like, for me, the satisfaction level is almost, almost there 
with the Tiger 2 105, which I showed you in last video. And it's not quite there because the Tiger 2 105 has to struggle a bit more. It doesn't have a stabilizer, it doesn't have this reload, it doesn't have this penetration, and it, it, it faces tanks that have more armor. So you bounce more often. And you face more Russian tanks. But in all honesty, this is stupidly fun. And I think that more people should get this experience. But then again, would it be, would it be something special? Because this thing, well, I think it was an event vehicle for a good reason, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, we have to go through one last drama act. One last crime. Yeah. I don't know what my shell did there, but do you see this gap in the building? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. He has no idea. He can't angle because he has no idea where he gets shot from. Oh no. I killed the mouse. Imagine this guy having spent so much money on getting this thing when it got uh, on when it got on release again and you panic purchased it in fear of missing out and then you face this thing the object 279 oh no oh no <laughs> yeah and that was the battle as usual survivor and heavy metal hero it's kind of the golden standard for this tank Stupid amounts of fun, very cool and efficient grinder. The silver lines are a bit low, but to be honest, I don't mind as long as I get good progress and I avoid the top tier map rotation. And that is always fun. And I hope you enjoyed the video as well. So yeah, there we go. 13,000 RP, 74,000 silver lines, epic awards. What possibly can go wrong? That's it for me today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you had as much fun watching the carnage as I had playing it, then why not press the like button? For me, it means the world. For you, it's just a click. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more. And as usual, we will see each other on the ways in the skies and on the battlefields of War Thunder.